Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I just want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I haven't been on RuneScape for the past month because I've been spending time with my family and etc. But I'm here to bring to my channel a guide on the ZMI rune crafting. Um, you also may have heard this term as the Oriana, Oriania uh, tell or altar. And so what this altar will do is it makes a multiple different runes based on your rune crafting level and it's it's a faster way to do rune crafting than doing the abyss or anything of the sort and you can get about 30k xp an hour so it's really good so i'm going to tell you how to really start this in the best and most efficient ways this may be a little bit of a long video so bear with me so the first thing that i really recommend and pretty much it's it's necessary to get an efficient 30 to 35k an hour is to complete Lunar Diplomacy. And once you have completed that quest, you need to speak to Baba Yega. And basically to speak to that person to unlock the Oriana, Oriania Teleport. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So let's go ahead and show y'all who you need to speak to to um, unlock that teleport. Okay. So here on Lunar Island, I had a little bit of a lag there, sorry. And you're going to be going up north. And there's going to be this little chick house that's like with the chicken. And you will talk to Baba Yega. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that name. And you're also going to need a little crest symbol too, or else you'll be kicked off the island, which you have, should have gotten from Lunar Diplomacy. Next thing I recommend is a setup an inventory setup so it is completely to your preference of course but there's something that will really help you with this so i bring out my small my pouches i bring my rune pouch and in my rune pouch is runes to teleport to the oriana teleport which was i was discussing earlier and this teleports you right outside the zmi altar now of course you still have to run to the ZMI altar, but it's basically a quick teleport. And to access the bank in the Oriania, God, that, that term is something else. To access the bank there, you will need to pay a certain exchange of runes. So the most amount of runes I have is mine runes. And so that is what I pay the banker to use the bank. Now you can set up what rune you want to pay for. You say, how can I help you? Or he'll say, how can I help you? And you'll go to, I'd like to talk to you about my quick payment details. And hopefully it says, what rune do I currently have set? I would like to cancel our quick payment deal or what rune do I currently have set? And he will say, mine runes, do you want to cancel our deal? No, but basically you can set what type of rune you want to pay him. I pay 20 mine runes each time to use the bank which isn't that bad because mine runes are really easy to come by from barrows and things like that. And we have that teleport also. And <clears throat> I highly recommend that you have the NPC contact spell so you can contact the dark mage to repair your rune pouches. Now you do need 67 mage and 71 mage for these two spells. And once you're, you've gotten to this location, which you can do without the teleport. You don't have to ha use the Oriania teleport, but if you want to know the location of the ZMI altar, you have Arduin, um, and you're going to go south, and then you're going to just go over here, which I believe is west on my map. And here you are as location at the Zamorak altar with the hunting location spots. And that's where the ZMI altar is, okay? But I really don't think you should be doing this rune crafting method until you have the teleport unlocked and the NPC contact. Because that's what makes it efficient and to be getting 30 to 35k XP an hour. Now there's two ways to get to the altar. There's the long path that is not dangerous at all and it has no NPCs that will attack you. And then there's the quicker path that has like the lizard and Zamorak fighters and etc. I always use the harder path because it's quicker. And when you go on World 327 and may change, uh, it is the world for the ZMI altar, Oriana 
uh, alter world, I guess is what it says. And this, there's a ton of people here getting attacked. And so you're very, you're not likely to get attacked. And you can also kind of AFK this because you can follow people. So here we are, we're going to make the ruins. Okay. And um, it kind of gives you an idea I got of what I got. Um, so, you know, I've got some chaos and, uh, and then I use the teleport, of course, to be outside the altar and I just run back in and com complete this process until you get the amount of runecrafting XP you want. So I got five death runes. You really don't get a lot of runes of one specific rune. You get a whole bunch of different ones. And so, you know, it's completely up to you. As an Iron Man, I'm choosing this method to get to 77 for bloods. Um... A lot of people use this method, and it can be pretty confusing at first. Another thing I really want to help you out with is that, as you can see, I put um, bank all right here, this little inventory space. And the way I did that, okay, let's fill up the pouches. The way I did that is basically you can take everything you want out of your bait, uh, bank, not bait, I don't know why I said that. So there's a bank filter. And so let's say I took my pouches out of the bank. They are all in this location and they have a placeholder. I remove those placeholders and then I go to this little wrench in the top corner and I say release all or not release all placeholders, fill bank. Press fill bank and what it'll do is it will fill all those open spots in your bank with red circles. And so when you go to bank your ruins, you can put uh, put your entire inventory in there without your 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 bags and your mind essence and etc being put in the bank because your bank is full because it fills all those placeholders with those red circles so if nothing can fit in your bank besides the stackables only your runes will go in your bank and I know that's confusing but let me try to explain that again so we're gonna go to my bank and let's going to put, we're going to put, um, we want to clear all bank filters, correct? And we're going to put, let's say, these rune pouches in. And I'll, of course, my mine runes are in my bank too. I'm going to take out, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to take out the pouches, as you see right now. And I'm going to go ahead and release the pouches from their placeholder. I'm going to go to the wrench and I'm going to say, fill bank, and I click that, exit out of your bank, re-enter, and all of the spots will be filled. So your bank is full. Only things that are stackable will go in your bank. So the ruins are stackable, but not the pouches. And the mine ruins aren't stackable in your bank because you have no mine ruins in your bank and there's no placeholder for mine ruins. So let's go do this one more time. <clears throat> We're just going to be doing the quick route and you can just follow someone and it's hands on free and it's all good. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And like I said, good 30, 35K an hour without doing lavas, which is very click intensive and it's quite relaxing. You can watch a show or something. And then you just craft your runes and etc. So that's, I would say, the most efficient way to do ZMI or the Oriania. I don't even think I'm pronouncing that right, but half of the world words in RuneScape are ridiculous. Um, so that is what I do, and I hope this guide helped y'all out. And you may get lucky and get the rune crafting pet, um, the rune 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 guardian, and that would be really exciting. So it's good crafting XP. You get a great variety of runes. It's way more relaxing. And I hope that y'all enjoy this as much as I do, and that this helped you get started at um, with the ZMI rune crafting. For Lunar Diplomacy, some people are really concerned with doing that quest. In all honesty, it is not that difficult. It's actually quite a quite enjoyable quest. It is quite long, but I really enjoyed the quest itself. So, I hope you do too. I do not believe you need to complete Dream Mentor for the NPC contact and etc. But just to be safe, after you complete Lunar Diplomacy, there is a quest called Dream Mentor which you can do to unlock all the Lunar spells that are within your level range. I hope that this guide helped you all out. At the, since it's the end of my video, I want to make an apology that I have not been making videos. 
I actually recently got engaged, so I haven't been on as much, and I was enjoying the holidays with my family and my significant other. So I hope that this helped y'all out. I plan on making more videos, and thank you so much. And if you like this video, give it a like below, and you're welcome to subscribe to my channel for more guides. Thanks so much.